Hi, this is Dave Pellegrinelli at AFX Search Licensed Investigators. In this video, we're going to talk about a couple secret ways to catch potential infidelity or catch a cheater. Now, the first one is uh, overuse of a person's name. Names that are referenced too often by your romantic partner are more likely to be people that they may have an interest in. Uh, somebody who uh, they, somebody has a crush on or maybe even is involved with will come up in conversation more often just because people gravitate towards what they're thinking about. Their minds will gravitate to subjects that they enjoy thinking about, that they associate with pleasure or happiness. So if you see a name popping up more often, it's either something that is occurring or that the romantic partner is intending to occur. At the same time, if there is a relationship with another person, could be a friend, could be a neighbor, somebody that you know about or, or are aware of, um, that name might artificially be reduced in the frequency that it comes up in conversation. So if you see a name that comes up too often or too little, that might be an indication that that person has some romantic tie or emotional tie to your partner. Uh, could be um, anything that a person has a gravitation to. It could be uh, activities, it could be clothes, even complaints. If that's something on their mind, they're going to refer to it more frequently in conversation. The second secret way to catch a cheater is when they're creating more access to time. If traditionally um, your romantic partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife is home at a certain time or has weekends free to spend with you and all of a sudden they're creating more access to time by working late, by joining new activities, uh, by creating slices of time where they're normally going to be available and now they're not. That might be an indication. Even if it's not enough time to physically spend with a person, a, uh, a partner in an uh, infidelity relationship is going to need time for communication. They're going to need time for phone calls, for text messaging, for emails. And they're going to break out slices of time to where they can do those things. And then, of course, set up a longer period of time when they can physically be with that person. So look for new ways where time is artificially created to engage in those other activities. And finally, if you're finding that your romantic partner is having a tough time answering questions or is reacting to questions differently or suspiciously, uh, that might be an indication that those questions are hitting a nerve. They may be questions that you didn't even intend to uh, call into play what their intentions are. Uh, we had a, a situation where there was um, a family, a husband and wife had a, a child and the um, husband asked inadvertently, well, gee, um, or the, the wife was pregnant. Can't wait for that child to be born to kind of see what it looks like. And the wife got all scared. Well, what do you, why'd you ask that question? It turns out the child was not the biological child of that father. And just that weird way of answering the question indicated that and gave the, the father a reason to check into it. So ask some questions, see what the reactions are, see if the reactions are different than what they were before. And that might be, might be a way to look into whether or not romantic infidelities occurring. If you have more questions, you can reach us through our website at afxsearch.com.